All right, so you want free patterns from the internet. Very, very easy to do. And uh, to be fair, scroll saw patterns should not be anything you're paying for anymore. There's just too much information on the internet. So the way that I do it uh, requires you to have a Gmail account, which I've just created. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, look in the upper corner up in here, and uh, I'm gonna have a link to a video that shows you how easy it is to open a Gmail account. So you could go ahead and look at that video, come back to this one when you're ready. Um, I end up using the Drive feature from uh, Google, so I've got it linked here. This is a new Drive account that I just set up just for this purpose. And I end up creating my scroll saw patterns out of Google Slides. And from Google Slides, what you need to be able to do is change the slide size so that when you print it, it is regular office paper size. Easy to do, you click on File, and you go down to Page Setup. You're going to create what's known as a custom page size, and that size is going to be eight and a half by eleven. Could go the other way around too, um, but the key is is you get something that is paper sized. Uh, I end up deleting these things out, and this gives me a platform to work on that I can put things in, and I can see what they're going to look like, and I can print them out and give them a shot. Uh, the next step in the progression is look for your pattern. So say you want to cut out a pattern of a dog for uh, a kid that you know, and um, it needs to be cut out on the scroll saw. If you just search dog, you're going to end up with poor search results. But if you know a few key words, that'll help you get better results. So the first one I usually look for is the word cut out. And for a dog, it doesn't end up giving you the greatest of results. However, cut out usually is a word that's really good. If you were to go to bone and then cut out, you get something that's two dimensional and something that's easy to cut out. But if it's the dog that you want, if cutout doesn't work, the next one I go to is silhouette. And in this case, you're going to get a few different options for different dog silhouettes that you could use. If you find one that you use, like say you covet a standard poodle like I do, uh, you go ahead and click on it. You always want to go full size image and then you can just drag this one over to your presentation and then place that thing. So here's your standard poodle. Uh, I only ever resize by corners. And typically what I'll do is I'll print out a few different sizes. So I'm just right clicking and copying it and then going to paste. And then I'll end up printing a pattern a few different times until I determine what is the perfect size. So uh, this one came from Silhouette. Other keywords that I end up using are line drawing. And if I don't see anything there, then I go to line art. And then finally, just drawing. If you're concerned about this sort of thing, like say you're making something to sell and you don't want to violate any copyright um, <clears throat> laws, you can go into this section over here called Tools. You can adjust your usage rights and you can go labeled for reuse. And then those will all be free and clear and you know, you're allowed to use them in any situation. So hopefully that helped you out uh, from this point. You know, after you have this, it's just a matter of go file print and then send it off to your printer. You cut those bad boys out and uh, you're working on the scroll saw. Hope this was helpful. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Take care.